You walked 30 minutes daily for three weeks. Nothing excessive or extreme. Suddenly, your coworker stops you to ask what diet you're on because your face looks completely different. Why do people notice changes in your face and waist before the scale moves even half a pound? Today, I'll explain what walking actually does to your fat cells like you're five years old. By the end, you'll understand why that scale number means almost nothing. Most people think walking is simple and straightforward. You move your legs, burn 150 calories, and that's the entire transaction. Calories in, calories out. Walk more, weigh less. Simple math. But that's like saying your phone just makes calls. You're ignoring it's also your camera, GPS, and the reason you know what your high school ex ate for breakfast. Walking burns calories, sure, but that's barely scratching the surface. While you're out there avoiding eye contact with neighbors and pretending you enjoy fresh air, your muscles are releasing a hormone called irisin. This hormone travels through your bloodstream on one very specific mission, to completely reprogram how your fat cells behave. Your body contains two dramatically different types of fat cells. White fat cells work like storage units, just sitting there hoarding energy, waiting for some future emergency that never comes. Brown fat cells are the complete opposite. They actively burn energy to generate heat, torching calories just to keep your body temperature stable. Babies have tons of brown fat because they can't shiver to warm themselves yet. Adults mostly have white fat, which is exactly why losing it feels impossible. But here's where walking changes everything. When you walk for 30 minutes, irisin starts converting your white fat cells into brown fat cells. Scientists call this process browning, and it's not temporary. You're literally transforming how your fat cells function on a cellular level for the long term. This explains why the scale messes with your head so brutally. You walk every single day, eat better, do everything the internet told you to do. Three weeks pass and your face looks noticeably slimmer. Your pants feel looser around the waist. Multiple coworkers have commented that something's different about you. Then you step on the scale and it barely budged, maybe even increased. Your brain screams that you're failing, that nothing works, that you should give up. But you're not failing at all. You're actually winning. You're simultaneously gaining muscle density while losing fat volume. Muscle tissue weighs significantly more than fat, but occupies way less space in your body. Picture replacing a bag of marshmallows with a brick. The brick is dramatically smaller, but denser and heavier. That's literally what's happening inside your body right now. Your measurements are shrinking, your body composition is completely reshaping itself, but the scale only knows one story. Real people have documented this process, and the timeline is remarkably consistent. After three weeks of walking 30 minutes daily, other people start noticing changes in your face. Not you obsessing in the mirror from every possible angle, actual other humans who have no reason to lie to you. After four weeks, your waist measurements start dropping consistently. Belts need new holes punched in them. Jeans suddenly fit better. One documented case showed someone losing 40 pounds and dropping six full pant sizes primarily from walking. Another person, 68 years old with prediabetes, lost 50 pounds over three years and completely reversed their blood sugar condition. Someone else combined walking with basic diet changes and lost 90 pounds in four months. These aren't Instagram influencers with personal chefs and unlimited free time. These are regular people with jobs and responsibilities who just started walking consistently. But nobody warns you about the mental battle of that first month. Your brain is completely obsessed with what the scale says because you've been conditioned your entire life to believe that number matters most. If it's not dropping fast enough, you think you're losing the game. So people quit right before the transformation really accelerates. It's like walking out of a movie 10 minutes before the twist ending. You abandon the payoff right before it finally arrived. This matters because we live in a culture that demands instant gratification for everything. You want same-day shipping for your body transformation. But fat cell reprogramming doesn't operate on Amazon Prime's schedule. It operates on biology's timeline. And biology needs a few weeks to get the memo and start implementing changes. Here's where the science gets even more interesting. Walking doesn't just convert fat cells and call it a day. It simultaneously improves insulin sensitivity, specifically in those fat cells. Insulin is the hormone that signals your cells to store incoming energy. When cells become resistant to insulin, they ignore the signal completely, and your blood sugar levels go haywire. That's the direct path to diabetes and complete metabolic dysfunction. Walking makes your fat cells respond to insulin properly again. 
Your body becomes dramatically better at regulating blood sugar, storing less unnecessary fat, and using available energy efficiently. This isn't just about looking better in photos or fitting into old clothes. This is about fundamentally rewiring your metabolism so your body stops fighting against you. Walking also demolishes chronic inflammation throughout your entire body. Chronic inflammation is like having a small fire burning inside you constantly. It disrupts your hormones, makes you exhausted for no reason, and causes persistent joint pain. It makes weight loss nearly impossible. One person reported that severe ankle swelling they dealt with for months completely disappeared after just three weeks of daily walking. That's not coincidence. That's real biology. That's inflammation dropping because your body finally received the signal that it's safe to stop hoarding water and excess tissue. Walking tells your stressed out body to relax. Turn down the emergency alarm system and stop treating normal life like a constant crisis. Some frustrated people have walked consistently for six months and still feel like the scale isn't cooperating. Here's what's likely happening. You're either eating more calories than you accurately realize, or you're not walking as consistently as you believe you are, or you have an underlying medical condition that legitimately needs professional attention. But there's another possibility that's actually good news. You might be building muscle tissue faster than you're losing fat volume. That's not failure. That's success wearing a different costume. Start taking detailed measurements with a tape measure around your waist, hips, thighs, and arms every two weeks. Take progress photos in identical lighting wearing the same clothes every single time. Track exactly how your clothes fit, rather than what the scale reports. These indicators tell you infinitely more than the scale ever will. The scale measures gravity's pull on your total body mass. It doesn't measure health, strength, progress, or body composition changes. This matters to you because walking is the one exercise form that almost every human can do, regardless of fitness level. You don't need an expensive gym membership, specialized equipment, or a YouTube tutorial teaching proper form. You don't need to wake up at 4 a.m. feeling miserable or drink pre-workout that tastes like battery acid. You just need decent shoes and 30 minutes of your day. And those 30 minutes are accomplishing far more than you ever realized. You're not just burning today's calorie surplus temporarily. You're teaching your entire body to burn fat more efficiently, permanently. You're converting lazy storage fat cells into active calorie torching machines that work even while you sleep. You're improving insulin sensitivity, reducing chronic inflammation, and building functional muscle tissue. All of this from simple walking. It sounds too simple and boring to actually work, which is exactly why most people ignore it completely and chase complicated workout plans that burn them out within three weeks. But here's the part nobody wants to hear. If you stop walking, these benefits gradually start fading away. Your fat cells don't stay brown forever without consistent maintenance. It's like learning Spanish for three months, then never practicing again and wondering why you forgot everything. Walking isn't a quick fix you do for six weeks, then forget about. It's a permanent lifestyle adjustment that pays dividends forever. And yes, that sounds boring and unglamorous compared to those dramatic 30-day transformation challenges promising abs and a complete personality upgrade. But those challenges don't work long term. You already know they don't. Walking works specifically because it's sustainable indefinitely. You can do it for the rest of your life without destroying your knees or hating every minute of existence. To recap everything, Walking for 30 minutes releases irisin, a powerful hormone that converts white storage fat cells into brown fat-burning cells. Your face visibly changes after three weeks, your waist shrinks after four weeks, but the scale might not move because you're gaining muscle while simultaneously losing fat. Real people have lost 40, 50, even 90 pounds using walking as their primary form of exercise. Walking dramatically improves insulin sensitivity, reduces chronic inflammation, and reprograms your entire metabolism for long-term success. Measurements and progress photos matter infinitely more than scale weight. And consistency beats intensity every single time. So here's what I actually want to know. If the scale went up 5 pounds, but you dropped 2 pants sizes, and people keep asking what your secret is, would you consider that success or failure?